from Rupert Grint to Mark Zuckerberg. Here are your top 10 real time travelers who mysteriously appeared in paintings. In our number 10 spot we have the woman on her cell phone. There is a painting by Ferdinand George Waldmuller from 1860 called The Expected One. This painting shows a woman walking through what appears to be a trail while holding an object which looks an awful lot like a cell phone. She also is seemingly transfixed by what she's looking at, similar to how people look at their cell phones when scrolling or sending a text today. People have looked at this painting and have have perceived this woman as a possible time traveler and hey, I see it. What else could that object be? What else could a woman of that time be holding? What could be as small as a cell phone and also something that she could be so focused on? I'm sure there are quite a few answers to this, but whatever. We are going to say that it's clearly a cell phone and she's clearly a time traveler. The end. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to smash that like button as it will really help us out. In our number nine spot, we have actor Rupert Grint. There is a Scottish painter by the name of Sir David Wilkie who lived in the 18th and 19th centuries and whom looked very similar to a very famous actor today. Fans of Rupert Grint, who played the infamous Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter franchise, were shocked to see a portrait of David and how he looks extremely similar to Rupert. Could it be possible that Rupert is really just a time traveler who has traveled to this time to capture our hearts and souls on the screen? A lot of people think so as you cannot deny that the two look quite similar. However, personally I think this is one painting I disagree with as I don't think they look enough alike for this to be the same person. I know that some people share a theory that time travelers change certain features on their face so that they're not recognizable, but something makes me think that this theory is a bit of a stretch and truly isn't the same person. I don't know. If we were to believe that time travelers exist, of course. And we do. <laughs> In our number eight spot, we have Keanu Reeves. Okay, if I could get on board with any celebrity being a time traveler, it would definitely be Keanu Reeves because he is just magical. Do you agree? There's something about him that seemingly makes him likable to literally everyone on the planet. I truly wonder if there's anyone who dislikes him. So he is either magical or a time traveler, but that would also make him magical, so he's probably both. <laughs> There is a very mysterious painting from the 1500s of a man that has a striking resemblance to Keanu Reeves. This painting has made its rounds online and has convinced a lot of people that he must be a time traveler. This is definitely one of the paintings on this list that truly feels like it could be real because of how similar Keanu looks to this man. The thing is though, Keanu seems to have a lot of people throughout history that looks like him, including King Charlemagne around 800 AD, as well as the 20th. 20th century French actor Paul Mountet. So it's because of all of these possible time traveler sightings that the internet is convinced that Keanu is immortal. And I'm here for it. I love him. In our number seven spot, we have a man and his cell phone. Here we have yet another mysterious painting where this time a man is holding an object that is seemingly looking like a cell phone. I don't know. It looks like a cell phone. It seemingly is a cell phone. This is an oil painting made by a painter named Peter de Hooch from the year 1670. Some people have said that this man was a messenger and that it was a letter that holding not a phone and that seems definitely more likely, however, this cell phone theory is way more fun. <laughs> Imagine if people had cell phones in those days, they would have definitely been called witches, as this was around the time where the witch trials were taking place all around the world. So it's probably accurate to say that if he was holding a cell phone, he would have probably been more discreet about it, or maybe not. Perhaps he's a cheeky kind of guy and loves to play with fire. In any case, I personally think that it looks more like a phone that he's holding than a letter, so I'm gonna say this one is definitely a time traveler. In our number six spot, we have Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone has been trending online recently because people believe that he could be a potential time traveler. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because of a painting of a man called Pope Gregory the Ninth approving the Vatical Decretals. You have to admit, this guy looks like he is Sylvester Stallone. The resemblance is uncanny. If this is not Sylvester, then it has to be someone directly related to him by blood. 
right? Th that is the only conclusion. Okay, but in all seriousness, if this guy is not related to him and this is not him, then this is a very good example of how it is possible to have a twin somewhere else in the world, possibly on a different time frame, but it is still possible that someone else could exist in the history of the world that looks just like you. Such a cool thought. In our number five spot, we have Nicolas Cage. Okay guys, here is another one. Man, this list is actually kind of blowing my mind. There are way too many paintings that look exactly like famous actors. This one looks like actor Nicolas Cage. I am a massive, massive fan of the National Treasure movies, so I definitely have a sweet spot for good old Nicolas. But also, he encouraged Johnny Depp to become an actor, so bless you, Nick. <laughs> you gave us a gift we cannot ever repay you for. Anyways, there is a painting of a Mexican emperor, Maximiliano of Habsburgo, I hope I didn't butcher that, and Sir Nick looks like his doppelganger. But let's be real, he probably is. <laughs> the only thing is people seem to say that Nick looks like he's a lot of people from different time periods, so honestly, who knows? He does have a very mysterious quality to him, so perhaps that is why people are quick to think that he might be, you know, a time traveler. In our number four spot, we have Jack Gleason. This is the only one on this list that is not a painting, but just needed an honorable mention. Honestly, this was a hard list to research, so, you know, just love me. <laughs> Jack Gleason, one of the stars of Game of Thrones that played the infamous Joffrey, looks surprisingly a lot like a statue of the Roman Emperor Caligula. Almost identical. If you have watched Game of Thrones, then you would know that his character is the king for a while and what a terrible king he was. Perhaps he had some practice from once being a Roman emperor. Some say yes. <laughs> This statue is too much like him that he must be a time traveler. Either that or he's immortal and he's been alive since this time. In our number three spot, we have Michael Jackson. This is a really interesting one. People think that it's possible that Michael Jackson was a time traveler. Okay, if Michael Jackson was a time traveler, then maybe he isn't actually dead and he just traveled to another time. Michael is known for being someone who loved art, so it's possible that he even styled one of his looks based off of a painting that that weirdly looks like him, but truly, it is rather strange that this painting really looks like him. Perhaps he actually traveled back in time in a time machine and someone painted him and that is how this painting exists? Ooh, what if, instead of being dead, he's trapped in the painting? Like what happens in the movie The Witches, based on Roald Dahl's book. It's fun to imagine scenarios like this. Anyways, there's no denying the resemblance and the similarities in their fashion choices. Pretty strange. In our number two spot, we have Peter Dinklage. If you do not know who Peter Dinklage is, then I can only assume that you haven't viewed one of the greatest television series of all time, Game of Thrones. Oh, and also, Elf, what a movie. Anyways, Peter is one of the most iconic stars from Game of Thrones, probably the fan favorite, besides Arya, Sansa, Jon Snow. Okay, never mind. there were too many great characters. There is a painting of a man that looks just like Peter though. The painting is called The Portrait of Sebastian de Mora by a man named Diego Velasquez. It was painted between 1644 to 1645. It truly looks just like Peter, so I understand why people look at this painting and immediately think it's him. Is everyone a time traveler in Hollywood? It feels like yes. In our number one spot, we have Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook, has definitely been called a robot, an alien, a shapeshifter, and now I'm learning that people believe him to be a possible time traveler, and it is because of a painting of the King of Spain, Philip IX. The painting was said to have been done in 1624 by a man named Diego Velasquez. I may be butchering his name, but hey, a trat. <laughs> He looks like an awful lot like Mark. Some same droopy eyes, long face, hair color, nose, and also possibly hair texture. Kinda hard to make out, but it looks like it. The only thing is, the king appears to have bigger lips, but who knows, maybe the artist did that. Or perhaps Mark had a lip reduction. <laughs> Anyways, not sure I'm on board with this theory fully, but the robot theory might have some solid arguments. I'm Melissa Milotti, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a good day, sir.
I feel like I look messy, like cuter in my head, but like messy, messy. on the screen. Messy it's so funny because there will there will definitely be days where I'm like, I feel cute, and then I see myself on the screen, I'm like, I'm not cute. You look beautiful. Thanks, girl. There is a painting by Ferdinand George Waldem. <laughs> why, why is it doing that? Wald, Wald, Waldmuller, Waldmuller. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> that one, because I have no idea. Actor Paul Monette. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I probably butchered it. Sylvester Stallone. Strange. <laughs> Pretty strange. Why can't I say that with a roll? 